All righty. Uh, we are here with E3 predictions, and as per any sort of discussion where we actually get started and whatnot, um, we actually have this great discussion beforehand, and then by the time we get around to it, where it's being all recorded and stuff like that, uh, we're just not going to have anything to say. Um, <laughs> but uh, I have two esteemed guests with me one more time, two years in a row. Can you believe it? Uh, I have Dante. Why don't you introduce yourself, Dante? What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Dante, coming at you with another Minecraft Let's Play. This time, we're going to the nether. Uh, so yeah, I'm Dante. Uh, I've co-opted with Axel uh, on uh, Connect 4 before. One undefeated Connect 4 champion of the internet and uh, overall house guest. Ah, uh, yeah. He, he, he plays middle. That's why he's undefeated. Like a real man. Uh, and we have Rot also returning. Introduce yourself, Rot. I'm Rot, and I like things. Like me, That's my introduction. Short and sweet and to the point. Uh, we, I actually haven't had the luxury of playing with Rot on any games on stream, uh, but um, I have had the luxury of playing some video games with Dante, and I can let you know that Rot is very bad at video games. Oof. <laughs> I, play, I play Metal Link Connect 4 too, you know. Yeah, but then he <laughs> plays Banker in StarCraft 2. <laughs> I've got tons of minerals, Dante. I bet you do. Dante, do you want me to send you some minerals? <laughs> Please, for the love of God, just send me the minerals, dude. <laughs> How do I send it to share resources? Uh, we were actually having a, an interesting conversation about WoW Classic, which isn't really all that related to E3, but it is still an interesting discussion because um, I guess for the most part, we all kind of agree that WoW Classic, you know, it, it can be a thing, you know, that, that, that's fine, but we don't think that people are actually prepared for what WoW Classic means and what it entails. Well, I've uh, actually got into the beta for wow classic and i've been playing it some and uh, i personally like wow classic just because it isn't retail uh like i think it's that taste do i think i'm going to primarily play classic when it comes out probably not but that being said like when you burn out on current content and retail wow i think that classic's going to be great just to be not retail uh, because, I don't know, there's just not a lot of really good MMOs that scratch that itch. I've, I've played the Final Fantasy one. It's pretty okay. Uh, I enjoy a lot with it, but it's not like something I play all the time. Um, I didn't think that the, what is it, the Morrowind or uh, Skyrim, whatever the frick their thing is. Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online, that's it. Uh, I didn't really care too much for that, but it could just be because I'm not huge on the the setup anyways. So, okay, fine. Um, yeah, but I think there's a lot of stuff that people take for granted in current WoW for convenience. But I also think there's a lot of charms of classic WoW that current WoW doesn't have. Like, there's a lot of RPG elements that they scrapped from, uh, from retail that is back in classic WoW that I think a lot of people will enjoy. But I don't think it's going to bring anybody new into WoW. I think that's the problem. Classic WoW is not going to bring anyone new to WoW. There's not what? going to be anybody that hasn't played WoW before that's like, oh, let me play Classic. I think that the goal of Classic WoW is to bring old people back. Yeah. I just think that most people looking at Classic WoW aren't really looking at Classic WoW. They're just looking to recapture the experience of playing an MMO for the first time before we had any understanding of yeah. how it was worked. And like, they're not going to get that. Like, I, you can't I, redo that for the first time. Well, yeah, not just that. I don't think anyone really appreciates or remembers how rough Classic WoW was when WoW first came out. Like, I think all of us are spoiled by, you know, the 10 years of content that's been released and the 10 years of polish that's been added to the mechanics where you know if you go back like you can play some old content in in retail wow you know like you, you won't get the same thing because a lot of the core mechanics have changed but the quests for example 
Like you can you can play quests from Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. Those are basically untouched, and they're not fun. They're uh, they're really rough. They're they're really rough. And yeah. I I actually think it's it's an interesting justification too because WoW came out in two thousand four, and it has been a yeah, really really long time so a lot of that experience really has been forgotten for quality of life changes and things that i'm just ultimately going to say make the game better yes there were changes that made the game worse but if you if if you look at the experience that players are playing right now on the alpha or beta or whatever it is for wow classic and you look at wow today it's it's really is night and day well, the thing that the thing that is interesting to me is Blizzard basically had to release WoW Classic because didn't they try and shut down uh, people that were running doing private servers, yeah, private private classic servers? Like, yeah, if Blizzard had just let like you know the the hundred people out there who want to play like who legitimately know what they're getting into and want to play WoW Classic on private servers, like I don't think Blizzard is going to recoup much on classic wow i think they'll make some yeah. decent money in the first couple of months before everyone realizes oh wait this was classic wow i forgot what and then moves on what what do you actually think was the pri uh, primary driving force for wanting to do wow classic because me in particular i don't actually think the private servers were it but then again i also don't think the fan demand was also it. Um, I, I, there must have been have something no else. Well, I, mean, the I legitimately reason, have no idea. The only reason I can see Blizzard pursuing WoW Classic is either A, they think lots of people are going to pay money to play it, or B, they were worried that the fan backlash for not having WoW Classic would be bad enough that it would affect their bottom line somehow. But they it would have to be one of those two things. And you're right. I don't really think that either of those things is true. But, but then again, Blizzard also thought that Diablo Immortal was a good idea. So Blizzard also thought that Titan, Titan Forging is a great idea. So Well, if, if you look back, they, they already ran into the backlash. They said, uh, I, I believe the famous quote is, you think you want it, but you don't. And, yeah. you know, I mean, like, they already got the backlash, and for all oh, intents right. and purposes, they survived it. So I mean, we could see this as caving to that backlash, but, yeah, ultimately, I, I don't yeah, know why. Neither of those really make good sense to I, me. I do, I do think that they shouldn't have been shutting down the private servers. Like, I don't think they should have cared that, like, you know, a, a handful of people were playing an older version of WoW on private servers, like, it's not really affecting their bottom line. Yeah, um, I, I would imagine, I mean, this is just me throwing out a number, but I would imagine there would be less than 30,000 people total on all private servers combined uh, playing... That actually sounds pretty that reasonable. Sounds, that sounds high to me. But... <laughs> no, that, that sounds about within the right realm, because of the population of the private servers, because I played quite a few private servers just out of, Hey, I want to play this particular content, this particular expo. Yeah. That's, um, that's fun. But I, again, this comes back to exactly what I was saying at the start, right? I think that it's a nice swap from retail. Wow. Cause there's a lot of stuff in, in retail. Wow. Right now. That's frustrating to me. That makes me go, I'm going to pull my hair out. I want to play something else. Or when you tread so much of the same content, it's nice just to swap it up but it's not like a drastic change because you're still playing WoW, but it is completely different, but it is still WoW. And uh, I think that it's, it's a good addition to the game. I, I'm not sure about the motivations because neither of the big reasons that make sense, do, like, neither of them actually make sense. But I do think it's good for the game. I think Classic WoW is a good thing because it's on the same subscription. You already have it if you're playing WoW. And if you want to play Classic WoW, you have the option to do that. And I, I think that's great for the game. But that's I don't fair. see Blizzard using that as an actual reason to include it. 
<laughs> that that's also something that I wanted to get into actually is um I also think that this is a good idea. Um I I personally think Blizzard is going to lose money off of this, but if the team is small enough, maybe 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 it will recoup some money, but uh do you guys actually think that it is going to make money and on top of that, how do you guys feel about it being tied on to the same subscription and you know be objective with obviously it's a great idea but is it a great idea for blizzard or yeah, could I could they have milked this? i think it's a good idea for blizzard i don't think they could have milked it for a separate sub because the backlash of you want us to pay two subs for the same freaking game and one of them is like almost two decades old i think that backlash would have been awful especially considering Blizzard's like reputation with their player base right now is not good. A lot of the trust in Blizzard has been horribly slaughtered the past six months, more than six months, probably the past eight to ten months. The reputation with Blizzard, the faith in Blizzard has been incredibly crippled. So even if this is just a charitable move by Blizzard to say, okay, we need to get some sort of of garner back from our player base it, it that's going to be worth more to them than any any kind of subscription they could hope to get out of classic because honestly I, I just i don't see them making that much money off of making it a separate sub I, I think it would damage them far more that's fair i i do see the value for blizzard um in kind of re-establishing the brand re-establishing consumer trust because you're right Having it on the same sub, monetarily, this is only good for consumers, right? Like, Blizzard, the only way Blizzard makes money on this is if it brings back a substantial number of people that canceled their main WoW sub, or if it brings new people into WoW. That second one's definitely not happening. That first one's probably not happening. So, I think from a money standpoint, they definitely don't recoup their loss on this but from a consumer trust standpoint i do think that because this is such a like an opaquely or opaque, such a transparently good move for consumers that they might rebuild some trust with us Hopefully. so so if if I, if if we were the expert panel here and if we mm -hmm. cannot figure out why blizzard is doing this and we cannot really interpret how they're going to make money off of this then is really the only conclusion that blizzard is doing this for the fans that's I mean, the only conclusion that i personally can come to is it it's blizzard saying hey we still care about world of warcraft in a strong I, way too like this is a strong way to make that step i would caveat that by this is very much a move for the fans but it's a move so that the fans come back, right? It's 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 a selfish move for the fans. Well, I mean, uh, it, there's really not much. I mean, unless they were going to release it at, for absolutely free, then yeah, that know. would be insane. There's no way that they well, they no, cut the I subscription mean, part. What I mean is that with how Blizzard's been operating recently. I would not buy that this was like an altruistic move for the fan. Oh, yeah, okay. there's definitely the distrust there because of a lot of decisions they've made lately. I I'm really not sure about like, like a lot of the content they're churning out. The like a lot of the content is made very specifically to keep the subs. Like it's like let me release my next dose of content exactly three months and one week <laughs> from my common resubscribers and uh like a lot of it's time gated stuff to where it's like impossible to get any sort of uh, let's, let's say progression outside of the timetable blizzard expects you to go on and that's something that some people were complaining about to transition a little further into classic here a lot of people were looking at classic and they're like well you have x amount of content 
they can only make classic content. They can't go past that. So it's going to run out of content. And I, and I kept thinking, how many people do you think are actually going to clear freaking NAX? Like 3% of the player base is actually going to clear NAX? They're, 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 there's going to be a ton of content that people never touch in Classic WoW just because of how difficult the content is going to be for people to do. Well, it is on patch 1.12, I think, or patch 12, or however they go yeah, about they're, it. Yeah, they're rolling it, they're rolling it out in phases, too. So it's not like everything's going to be available from day one. It, it is coming out and rolling. And, and I, I, I want to say that um, a lot of the dungeons towards the end, because patch 1.12 is towards the end of WoW Classic. Uh, it's I, I, the I, end of Classic, yeah. I think they were, you know, toned down quite a bit. I mean, it's not original Nax, for example. So. Oh yeah, it's not like release, uh, Cahoon either. It's not yeah. like it's going to be an actual mathematically improbable fight. So <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to be super jazzed up. But I really think people need to look at how grindy the content is because it's not like okay, well, figuring out how to do this is hard. That's that's not what's hard about classic. Like, to clear Classic, to beat the game of Classic World of Warcraft is easy, an investment of 1,500 hours to get to the in-game content, the last bit of the game, to have the gear, to have the resistance gear, to have the correct everything, to then do the content with enough people. Yep, attuning people and all it, that as It's well. going to be, like, at least 1,500, and I mean, that's going hard. That's not just like hanging out in in trade chat and, and exchanging the memes, as it were. That that's going hard. You so you remember Blackrock yeah. Depths? Like that dungeon is oh, yeah. like the longest dungeon ever, and it's so confusing. There there's a ton of layout there, like a ton of material, and and honestly, here's something crazy. Now hold on, because I would get strung up in the streets for saying this, but hot take. Just because we roll out classic WoW in the condition it is right now doesn't mean we have to add specific content to classic WoW that's only in classic WoW at release. We could add content that wasn't in old classic WoW separate from the timeline of retail WoW. I mean, they could, but they won't. I don't think they will, because that would be that insane. Would cost a lot of money to develop, to and it would be actual development, which, again, would be insane. But in a timeline alternate universe where Classic WoW is a a huge success, and again, that's yeah. like ridiculously long odds. The people saying that well, Classic WoW can never be a success because the end game is definite. I don't think they understand that, okay, well, just because we are saying this is what there is right now, Blizzard could just open the end of the game to develop content that they didn't have before. Well, hell, they don't even need to in do the that. Line. We could have classic Burning Crusade next. There, there are other people talking about, well, will they do other expos? Um, and I, I don't know. I don't think that they will, but... Like... Hey. Imagine imagine a World of Warcraft where you can jump between whichever expo you liked the best and just play in that expo. Yeah, we have classic servers that are just not retail WoW, that are just, you pick the server from the list that is your uh, expansion you want to play. Yeah, exactly. You just go, you know, I really, really liked, you know, original Mists of Pandaria, for example. I'll just throw like that, hot that was, take. That was hot crazy. take, boys. I didn't play Miss. I'm just. <laughs> I was going back, and I'm like, well, I didn't play. And I, I, the nah, only nah, clip, I clip that. Rotter Telbo, Mr. Pandaria is my favorite. Wow, Expo. Clip it. <laughs> send it to print. We've hot got take. The... Cataclysm is still my favorite. Wow, Expo. So all right, that's that's no, that's reasonable. That's not a hot take. That's like within the realm of pretty much everybody like consistently but, uh, but if yeah like if you're like this is the this is the expo that i really liked i really liked some mechanic that 
has been obsolete. Like, for example, if you really liked, I remember there were uh, artifact weapons in Legion, and they took those out for BFA. Yep. If you really liked those artifact weapons, you can just be like, well, I'll play on a Legion server. You know? There's not going to be new content, but a lot of, you know, a lot of the endgame content can be pretty grindy. Um, getting the people together and... Con- it's and- an MMO. Yeah, so all any of it can essentially be perpetual. So here's why I actually don't think in any parallel universe uh, your hot take will work, Dante. Uh, in in well, that, that is a hot take. Well, your hot take in that they can start adding new content to their classic WoW should it be successful enough. And I don't think they're actually going to do that because they've stated multiple times that they had to revert back to old code um, and that they couldn't even revive Classic WoW for a while because they gave out all their old uh, servers and things like that. So um, I, thought, I thought they said that they, uh, they wanted, when they were doing Classic WoW, that the whole thing was they're moving Classic WoW to the new code. I... I don't think, at least from my interpretation, I don't think they're moving the whole thing. I think there are some things that have fundamentally changed, and so uh, those specific things can't be reverted, but they're trying to keep the experience as close as possible to what it was, which in my eyes is they're keeping the old code as much as possible. And if they're doing that, they're not developing off of old code oh, like I that. I definitely don't think they're going to develop off the old code or anything like that. However, I will offer you a rebuttal. Blizzard said that, but Blizzard also said Azerite gear is a great idea and everyone will love it. Okay. So, who knows what's the truth here? <laughs> well, we got two different people making those decisions, though. I mean, that's also another problem is the like the actual like leadership directions of the current WoW development team. However, I feel like we've probably talked classic WoW to death. I don't really have anything else to add unless you guys do. Yeah, that's fair. I I guess in closing, I would just say that um, I'm I'm glad they're adding it. I have no problems with them having a splinter team, hiring more people. You know, do whatever. Like, add add as many classic wows classic burning crusade yada yada this and that to the game as possible it's only going to make more people play the game and with any luck it's going to make blizzard some money and uh that will hopefully inspire some other ventures that they can do and who knows maybe in time we might get something interesting i agree wholeheartedly hope for the best uh it's been pretty fun playing the beta i've really enjoyed it i'm looking forward personally to playing it when i'm not playing uh retail yeah fair ready 